Welcome. My name is George Fergus. I'm the organist here at the cathedral, and I'll give you this 20-ish minute organ demonstration. The organ, which is above you, as you can see, was built in 1938, so it's celebrating its 80th birthday this year. It was built by Ernest Skinner, an iconic American organ builder from the beginning of the 20th century. Ernest Skinner had this idea that the organ should be able to play not only the works written for the instrument, but also works written for almost any other instrument, including any consortium of instruments, such as the symphony orchestra. Skinner was known as a symphonic organ builder. So a lot of his work here in the organ and with the pipes had to do with emulating the sounds of a symphony orchestra. You'll find the traditional organ sounds like flutes. Those are not really originating with the orchestra, but they, there's a core organ sound. You have the diapasons of the orchestra, or of the organ rather, that give you the sound you probably think of when you think of a pipe organ. But Skinner added to that all sorts of string colors, other reeds such as an oboe or a clarinet, and lots of different trumpets to use here. All of these pipes are, sit right above you on both sides. And does someone want to guess, maybe one of you in the back, how many pipes do you think are here in the organ? It's way more than you can see, so guess high. Five hundred? Go way higher. Anybody else? You want to take a guess? One thousand? Go way higher. It's ten thousand six hundred forty-seven pipes. It's far more than you can see. Those in the facade just comprise a small percentage of the pipes. All the other pipework is behind the, the uh, floodlights here in the triforium level, which is the level of the cathedral just below the stained glass windows. Behind all of these spotlights are organ chambers that go back 15 or 20 feet and packed into those on both sides, running from the crossing all the way up to the start of the apse are all of the pipes. Now you might be wondering, what could you possibly need with 10,647 pipes? Well, let me tell you. Each pipe is essentially binary. It has a fixed state, it has a fixed pitch, volume, and timbre, and you just turn it on by pressing the key. There's no way to control the volume of the pipe from the organ console. The only way to change the volume or the timbre or any of that stuff is to actually tinker with the piece of metal that the air goes through. Obviously, you can't do that for every single time you want to change something or every single time you want to change to a different note. We have 61 keys in the keyboard, so we need 61 pipes for each set of pipes. Each sound, such as a trumpet or a flute or a string, has to have a different pipe for every key that corresponds to it. And then if you want to use a trumpet or a flute or a string, you need a different set of pipes for each of those. So if you're doing some really quick math, you're, you're going to realize when I tell you that there are 200-ish ranks in the organ or sets of pipes, you can already get up above 10,000. When you play the piano, each key is assigned a particular pitch. The organ corresponds to that in a very limited way. Middle C on a piano will match middle C on the organ if I use what we call an eight foot stop. That's exactly what you would expect. But if you remember your ancient Greek acoustics, which I'm sure all of you have studied up on before coming, you'll remember that if you cut the length of a pipe in half, you get an octave higher. So this is the same middle C with a different stop. Here that, here's that four foot stop and changing to a two foot. So just using one key, middle C, I can play four different octaves. I can play a scale or I can play using those four octaves plus a bunch more.
that stereotypical organ sound that you've probably heard on YouTube. But remember, I talked about Ernest Skinner being an orchestral organ builder. So here is the string ensemble that he built for this instrument. If you close your eyes, you can almost imagine that that's a group of 30 or 40 string players in an orchestra. We have different flutes. Some of the flutes are narrow. While some of them are wider. We have a variety of trumpets. I'll just play some of them without talking in between. These are going to be ranged from dark and mellow to loud and bright. And we have two solo trumpets. One of them is named Tuba Mirabilis, which is Latin for Great Trumpet. And it's on the south side of the organ, just here by the crossing. The other is on the east end of the building, right over the Reredos. If you look at the figure of Christ in majesty and go up about 15 or 20 feet, you'll see some trumpets sticking out horizontally from the end of the building. Those are our festival trumpets. They sound like this. All in all, the organ has pipes that range from about a quarter of an inch long. down to 32 feet. That 32-foot pipe is right above the organ console, sits horizontally, is about three feet in diameter, square and made of wood. And I can see at least three people here who would have no problem crawling 32 feet through the pipe but I can't let you do that, unfortunately. It's probably really dusty anyways. So now, I think I'll play two pieces for you. The first is Edward Elgar's Nimrod from his Enigma Variations. This piece was originally written for orchestra and has been arranged for solo organ. You'll hear all of those orchestral sounds I demonstrated, starting with the very soft strings. And the next piece I'll play is Vidor's Toccata, which I expect is familiar to many of you, Perhaps not right off the, just using the title, but I'm sure you'll recognize it. When I'm done playing these two pieces, you're all invited to come up and take a look at the console. Just enter over on this, this side, the, well, my left-hand side, your right. It's narrow back here, so if we keep it a one-way street, we'll avoid some traffic jams. If you just come around, you can take a look, take pictures if you like, and ask me any questions that I may have neglected to mention anything about the organ or the church or the music program. So thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoy Nimrod and Vidor's Toccata.